in the fellow heads of Onaa. Onaa is fraud, causing distress. So it means, the word Onaa literally means wronging somebody and includes price fraud, which is cheating your friend by selling items at overly inflated prices and buying them for less than their proper worth, right? So you could fraud somebody by overcharging them and someone could fraud you by buying it off of you for very cheap and you really deserved more. And then number two is causing somebody pain through onaad varim, onaa of wronging them with words. So the Bedi Vets gives some divre musar about these two things. So he says, onaab mecca hamimkar ish baisum osif al isur gazin. He said, there's for sure there's the directive from the Torah not to steal. On top of that, there's a separate Torah prohibition of not defrauding and uh, violating someone by going and lotonu ish et amito, the Torah says. Do not aggrieve, do not make your friends suffer. He's many of the Amaaretz people, very not learned, ignorant people in business. They forgot about this thing called price fraud. They think, what do you mean? It's business. It's, I'm allowed to charge and I'm allowed to go and, and, uh, and uh, they call lowball this guy, right? Uh, it's his fault that he's not smart enough to understand that the, there's a certain price to certain things, you know? So therefore, they go and they call it shrewdness. They call it uh, smartness in business. And this is the reason why we find the financial standing of the world withering away with the cycle of poverty going throughout the world. You know, it used to be people used to say, listen, I need to make money. You need to make money. So let's meet in the middle. Let's meet in the middle. Let's make a compromise. You know, people were very up, straight up about everything. But today, people need to lie and say, no, I'm not, I'm barely making any money on you. What do you mean? I bought for the same price you bought almost. It's almost the same thing. What, what are you talking about? So therefore, therefore, the, they go and they lie to each other. Ends up being that the other guy, instead of giving him his proper cut and saying, meet me in the middle, he goes and leaves him for dead. He goes and lets him barely make any money. And therefore, he rips him off. And that way, people end up getting more and more poverty in the world. As it says in the Navi Yermiya, one who amasses wealth unjustly in the middle of his days will leave him. And even if you see a person who has wealth and what, and uh, in the and, and his, he does wrong with it, and he still has wealth, you should know that this wealth is an example of the pasuk. Shomer As the pasuk in Kohelet says, the riches hoarded by the owner. It's to his misfortune. So therefore what? He repays his enemies in his lifetime to make him perish in the world to come. Hans So therefore, press this to know, this is the people who get make, make money through uh, illegal business. That's not a lesson for us. You should know they're going to pay soon. This is the rule of general price fraud. You're not permitted to lie and falsely praise your wares for which the, the, wherein they are not as good as he claims. He says, yeah, this... You're never going to feel back pain, this, you're never going to have this problem, and ever, it's the best, it's unbelievable, it's top of the line, it's number one. Like in this world that we live in, you know, they put number one selling product in the market, and they put a little star over there, like, oh, in the in the, in the the markets between this and this price, you know, like, it puts a little, little uh, a footnote telling you that this huge, beautiful line is not really what we're describing, it just looks nice on top, if you're not smart enough to read the bottom, so you get tricked. So therefore, we live in this kind of world that he says that a lot of times people say things that don't apply. They make it look like better than it is when it's not. And it's asur. That's fraud. You can't say something that it does not really do. People love to do this. They say, what do you mean? I'm selling you to 15. I bought for 12. What are you talking about? Even though really he bought for 5. He's selling you to for 15. Do you have and, to he, and he tells you, he tells you, but I bought for 12. What do you, I'm making $3 on you. What do you want from me? But really, you're making $10 off of him. And you tell him, but listen, I bought for this. What do you want from me? And therefore, people lie. And even you tell the guy, how much you bought it for? He says this, and he lies to you in the face. So therefore, people think this is allowed. This is also fraud. This is also fraud. And he says that this is something that's not true. How much more so you're not allowed to dress up the item, right? Make people think, meet people, take old, make it look like new, used, and make it look like new. And they say, it's his problem. He should have checked. Why didn't he check? So it's his fault. He's a sucker. It's not my problem. He's a sucker, right? That is not allowed at all either. This is 100% fraud. Or a person thinks 
he puts on top the good ones, and on the bottom he puts the duds. Right? He puts he puts the 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 the, the bigger ones on top and the smaller ones at the bottom, so you don't tell the difference. And it looks like a full bag. It looks like the same weight when really it's not the same product whatsoever. So therefore, a lot of times people say, "Listen, you didn't ask for that every single one should be that size." You know, you 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 didn't specify. You wanted a bag, so I gave you a bag. Of, okay, well, you, the contents on top look different. The bottom is also different. That is not correct. That is a sewer. That is fraud. You know what the person wants. You should go and give him what he needs. Therefore. He says, the Lord, how much more so, showing one and giving him the other. On this, the Torah says, an abomination of Hashem, your God, who all who have done this, who act corruptly. So therefore, a person shouldn't lie. It's forbidden even in the Torah to have false weights and false scales that do not have the proper uh, adjustments to be fair. It's a sewer even to own them. You know, even if you don't use them, it's a sewer from the Torah to own them. And the Torah says, even, even the Midrash says, even if you, I took you out of Egypt just for the sake of having uh, honest scales and honest weights, it was worth it. It was Kedai because this is how important it is to have be honest in business. How much more so on these people who steal and cheat, they will, they will bear no fruit. In their end, they will be considered a rogue. And they will only reap evil in this world. And therefore, so therefore, a person is foolish who ends up trying thinking that this will gain for him, and he ends up getting what? Just a bad purchase. So therefore, a person should avoid doing all this stuff. And he ends. And we all have to remember that the first question they ask us when we go to Shemaim, did you do business with? Faith. They don't ask you to do business honestly. Because to do business honestly, you know what you have to have? You have to have faith. You have to have faith. And people who do business, not honestly. They sell old as new. They lie and they change the, the numbers and they fudge the numbers and they trick you and they play you and, 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 and they commit fraud to, their, to the people they work with. It's because they do not have a munah. And you have to realize that Kaddish Baruch can give you in the mutar way. And you chose to take it through a sin. That's your fault. You have to work on your munah, work on your munah, work on your munah. But everybody does it, Rabbi. It doesn't matter. Just because everybody's a ganav, you have to be ganav. Everybody jumps off a cliff, you have to be, jump off the cliff.